So my wife Debbie and I are collecting a vintage set of carolers presently. Uh, we have a full set of carolers that my parents designed in the 1980s and that is displayed in our Heritage Center on the mantle in the Christmas room. And we love that set. It's very characteristic of the direction the dolls went during the 80s and continue to be developed into the 90s and 2000s. But the early dolls that my parents designed, uh, of which the, uh, the carolers are kind of a, a classic example, uh, we call vintage. And this would include the dolls they designed in the 70s and the 60s and the 1950s when they first started out. Uh, we found this old fat man, a vintage fat man, who by the, the sticker here was designed in the uh, 1950s, so very early. Uh, I'm gonna need to do some restoration on him before my wife and I are able to take him home. But uh, we're, we're working on a whole set of vintage dolls along with our, our newer or you know, the dolls that my parents designed later in their, in their career. Uh, a classic example of the energy and the uh, kind of the simple illustrative approach to the early dolls. So uh, I'm looking forward to restoring this gentleman. Today I also have a vintage lantern man that we came across and we are preparing him for our, our inventory. He needs some restoration also. I'm thinking he was probably designed in the early 1960s. And uh, again, the, uh, the sticker on the bottom of the stand is a good clue, but also the design of the head. And uh, my dad designed this head. My mother had worked out the clothes for the Lantern Man. And uh, this particular one, uh, suffered a fate that many lantern men suffer and that is that while he was out caroling his lantern hit his nose and uh, in this case uh, it knocked a whole piece off of his nose so something to watch out if you're caroling with a lantern is you have to hold it far enough away that this doesn't happen so I'm gonna actually reconstruct his nose and try to match the paint because he's got this wonderful aged quality that the vintage carolers have, the, my, parents, my parents' vintage dolls. And uh, we're going to have him available very soon as part of a, um, uh, you know, a, a vintage collection that we're, we're gonna showcase on our website. Something else very special about this gentleman that's really actually somewhat extraordinary. Um, on his base, both my parents have their autographs. I'm guessing that the person that owned this doll perhaps brought it back in, uh, you know, some years later and asked my parents to sign it. But to have both their signatures uh, is rare and very special. And uh, my wife and I wish we had a lot of dolls now that we had to say, would you please just sign, both of you, just sign this piece for us. So it's gonna be an interesting project to uh, get him all spiffed up in the, in the restoration process and have him available as part of our new vintage collection. But something special here that we're also doing is we're going to have a signature collection. We are going through our dolls and being uh, very watchful when, when dolls come to us that have my, my dad's signature, my... Um, my mother's signature, my brother's, or mine on the dolls that we designed. So that'll be available and the value of those dolls are greatly increased by having uh, the signature of the artist. Again, a rare find. And um, what I'm gonna do is uh, set about to uh, get this guy all fixed up. completed. I have to say that I uh, 
got delayed in coming back to this piece and finishing his uh, broken nose. I had other restorations that were calling me and so he was set aside for a moment but I, I came back, completed his nose and his restoration. Interesting challenge because he was made so early in the enterprise, the molding on the head is rough. And so simulating that was a new challenge for me so that he'd, you know, I didn't want the nose to look quote unquote modern and the rest of him to look uh, 1960. So I actually had to make the nose rougher than I would have or could have. I could have actually smoothed it quite a bit more, but it needed to go with the whole piece and also just the texture of the paint job. So interesting problem. Glad he's completed and up to A+. He is going to be included in our 2021 Simpich Doll Expo, the first one on June 12th of 2021. And we're going to include other dolls signed by my parents and my brother and myself that um, we're calling the Signature Collection because they will have special value down the road because they're signed by the artist. So he'll be included and uh, looking forward to the Expo. And it's always a relief to me to have a, a, a doll that is, is suffering a serious injury to be back on his feet. And um, the, the Lantern Man here is a good example of that. Also, please subscribe to our YouTube channel so we can continue to bring you stories and information about the history of the Simpich dolls. Also, if you have a Simpich character that is signed by one of the artists, please let us know. You could possibly bring it to the expo and have a certificate completed for it. So let us know on that. 